Hello YouTube, it's Ernesto Rivera. I'm here at the layout, this time with another product review from Athens Genesis. This is the SD60E Honor Our Veterans locomotive from Norfolk Southern, or with the Norfolk Southern's paint scheme on it. Um, it's a really beautiful locomotive. For those of you who have uh, the honoring our first responders um, SD60E, you're going to like this one because it's kind of like the sister locomotive to that one. So. And we, this one here has the Tsunami soundtracks, um, Tsunami 2 decoder, and it also features LEDs. Um, one of the things that Athens has also started to implement in all their new lineups. So let's take a look and uh, closer look at it and uh, see how it runs. So taking a look at the, the engine in front here, you'll notice you'll see the top of the cab, which is painted in red, and then the lower half of the uh, with the chassis is in the front by the snowplow, you'll see it's also painted red. It gives a nice, beautiful contrast to it. I love the blue with the white, and you can see the, the Norfolk Southern thoroughbred in front, the traditional paint job on that. You can see the beautiful star representing the honor of our veterans. It's just a beautiful, beautiful engine to look at. Um, once again, Athens has done a good job recreating this. In this video, you'll notice that I'm using sort of a little bit of a different view. You can see there's a lot more closer detail on the engine because I'm using a, a special kind of lens here. And you can see all the fine detail on here. I'm just gonna scroll through here real quickly. See how beautiful it is. And that ribbon on the side there with the striping saying honoring our veterans is just beautiful. And then there's the traditional Norfolk Southern logo you'll see. I love how it transitions from the blue all to the black with the white ribbon and the red ribbon. It's just beautiful along the side here. Norfolk Southern, they, I've seen the real one, not in real life, but some pictures of it. And it looks as close to accurate. And Athlon did a great job of recreating this, so it just looks beautiful. Again, I want to show you a little bit here on the truck detail. You can see... This unit does not have roller bearing caps. It would have been really nice to see that. Uh, maybe in the future that Athen will add that to their tooling, but it's beautiful. Uh, still, nonetheless, it's really beautiful. Uh, you can see all the detail. Look at the fuel tank. Uh, the fuel tank cap here, really beautiful. Lo lots of detail. That's one thing about the Genesis line of locomotives you're gonna see is that it's, it comes at a premium, premium price point, but you're gonna get premium detail. And you, you know, you notice on the bottom here, there's no overhanging wires, nothing, you know, that obstructs the, the trucks here. I know it's a little dark here underneath the bottom, but it still looks beautiful. One thing to mention, and on the front, underneath the truck, you'll notice there's a, there's a small LED they put underneath there. So when, when the track power is applied, you'll see it illuminate. It's really nice to touch they did. Now I just want to give you a nice little panning view of the of the right side of the engine. It's really beautiful. I mean, it, it, I know it's, it's expensive. Uh, I, I got this one for $288. Uh, it is it is a very expensive engine, but again, it's just one of, you know, it's it's kind of a a special, you know, paint scheme and it's a, you know, for just commemorating the the, the veterans. So you 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 know, you got to have one if you're a Norfolk Southern fan. I mean, this is kind of a, a it's, it's a piece you have to have in your collection. Taking a closer look here on the left side, you'll notice that there's a full cab interior. I know it's hard to see on video because the, the glass, uh, the window on the side here is actually slightly frosted. Um, you also notice this, the, uh, there's separately applied mirrors on the side of, of the engine, the sunshade, uh, wind, window wiper in the back here. But you can see it's just beautiful detail along the, the side of the engine, just gorgeous. And just look how crisp the paint is. I mean, you can see this at extreme close-up. Look at the, the doors along the long hood here. The hinges, you can see all of it separately applied. I mean, I'm, I'm using a real close-up macro lens for these shots, and you can see all the, the separately applied, you know, detail parts and how much it, you know, it, all the detail stands out. Even on top with the, with the fan and the radiator grill, you, you'll see it's beautiful, the horn. And just nice touch all, all around here. This is just a beautiful engine. 
And once again, I'm, I'm showing these shots here because I want you guys to see why Genesis is still, I still consider them as the, the premium line when it comes to model trains. Um, you know, the, again, with this price point, you're going to expect um, to see some great detail. This time I'm moving along the side here on the left side, you can see to get a wider view. It's just beautiful. I love the truck detail. Everything in this engine's got beautiful detail. Just the way the color transitions. Again, this is one of those engines that it's one. It's like a special piece to have. Um, it's just really nice. Just even the, the top of the cab right there, we see the, the PTC antennas on top. Beautiful. I love the flag on the side of it. It's just, it's just beautiful. And the blue, it's just. I don't know. I, I love the blue. The color. You can see it. It just looks beautiful. So. It's a beautiful engine. Moving along here to the rear of the engine, you can see the beautiful Norfolk Southern Thoroughbred. The traditional colors there with the black, and then the operating dish lights on the bottom. They they are operating and they are LEDs, uh, fully functional. They do flash. You'll see when I'm when I start the operation video on the operating. Um, one of the modifications I made, small modification, is. They do come with these plastic McHenry couplers, and I don't like them. So I switched them out to KDs, and that's the only downside I would say is that you have to switch it out. But it's a small, easy fix, and uh, other than that, it's it's really beautiful. So there you have it, that's the Norfolk Southern Honorary on Veterans SD60E by Athens Genesis. I think this, en this engine is beautiful. So um, I know some of you, some of my viewers out there, they don't really like how the, you know, the soundtrack Tsunami 2, you know, performs out of the box. I know you can see it when they notch up, it's a little bit, you know, uh, jumpy at times. Um, you, you can configure it and because it's a full function decoder and you can play with it. I know some of you guys out there might opt for the DCC ready version and then put like the ESU Lokes sound in there and you'll be very happy with that too. So you have options again. Um, so again, I hope this video, you guys, if you're on the fence on it and you want to, you know, 
to maybe take a look at it closely, see how it sound like, and see what it looked like. This engine's really beautiful, so I, I recommend it to anybody who's, who's who likes modern diesels and especially a Norfolk Southern fan who wants something special. So until again, until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, take care.